What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today what I'm doing, it's going to be a real quick video. I'm not making a full beat today. Um, A subscriber asked me to explain the inserts on the... um inside the software because he's trying to use it and he don't understand where the inserts go and so I'm gonna do my best to explain what I know to show him because he said he's been looking and he can't find it so I'm gonna show him what I know is not the only way it's my way alright so this is how I do it this is what I know and I'm showing him what I know I know there's more technical stuff out there but this is what I know and this is what I'm showing him because he reached out to me and asked me to do it so I'll show him what I know that's what I'm here for I like helping to show what I know alright let's go ahead let's start after the intro let's go Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add some um, sounds to it. Let's go ahead and add some sounds so I can show you what we're going to do. Alright, and he said to use the, 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 um, the inserts that came with the actual DAW. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so let's bring up the, um, alright, so the first thing that you need to know is your programs, right? You have your programs, you can put four inserts on your programs. These right here is for your return. These four is for return. The only thing you can't add, um, the only thing you can't add a, a effect to is your, um, the MIDI track. I don't know why they do it like that, but you can't add um, add a, a effect on the on the um on a MIDI track. You can add it on the program. You can add it add it on the audio track, right? So these four right here is for your is for your inserts for your effect. These right here is for your return. This right here. You can send stuff to your submix. I'm gonna explain all that in a second. All right, so let's go. Let's put um, this is our first program right here where I just played the um, chords. This is it right here. You see it's moving. Now let's add something to it. Let's go here. Let's add, let's say, a delay. Let's add the air delay, whatever, right? Let's bring it up. All right, so you can you can hear the delay, right? All right, so if the delay is here, that's an insert right here. That's one effect. If you want to add another one, you come here and add another one. Let's add, let's add an EQ, whatever, it don't matter. Let's add the, the gate, filter gate, right? So now it's the delay and the filter gate on that um, program. So that's the delay and the filter gate on that program. And you can also see it right here, right? If you had another um, track, to another track let's add another um let's add something else make it a new program 
let's bring it up let's just select anything it don't matter uh, the sounds don't matter in this video right so let's just let's play something to get it going Alright, so now once I bring back the mixer track up, let's bring it back up. So now you see I have two programs now, right? If I wanna add if I wanna add something else to this, this is program two. This is the second one. So we can add it. Another insert to it. Let's add whatever, it don't matter. Uh let's add a reverb to it. Um, air reverb. Bring the air reverb up. Add anything. All right, so now you see that's working. All right, so now if I want to send both of these, if I want both of these to get affected by one plugin. I will send it to my submix one so I can turn all these off right and put now listen when I turn all of them off they go back to normal now if I want to add to my submix both of them to my submix I will come here submix and put it on submix one so you have eight submixes that you can put it on right here eight of them right so we're going to put it on one. You can do you can do both of them at the same time. Just all right. Select one and hold shift and select the other one and you can do both of them at the same time. Go to submix, submix one and send both of them at the same time to submix one. So now when I play here it's going to play in submix one. Both of these is going to go to submix one. See submix one is playing. If I turn submix one down, you don't hear nothing, but you can still see it's playing here. Now let's turn the submix back up. All right. Now what we can do is add an effect to submix one, and it will affect both programs. So let's go to let's add something. I don't know what. Uh. Let's just add something crazy. All right, see? So now it's affecting both of those, right? Now if I turn this off, you're gonna hear it affect just that by itself. It's off now. Now when I turn it on, it's affecting both programs. So I did that so you can see the dramatic change, right? So now let's 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 see what what the return do. All right, let's move that. Let's take the this right here, right? We're gonna take it and move it onto the return, or let's just leave it. Let's leave it and turn it off. Let's put this on the return. Let's put something else on the return. Let's put um let's put a gate on there. On the return, right? So now, remember when I told you about these four buttons? These four buttons control your return on anything, either on your audio track or your programs. It controls the return, all right? So remember, all the effects now is off of everything. So you play it, you're just hearing it regular, nothing. Now we're gonna, con the filter gate, we're gonna put it here, right? Now say we just want the, say we just want the, um, the chords to get affected. I put it on um, insert, on, on return one. So you have four returns that you can use, right? So this is return one, return two, return three, return four. Now, if we want to attack just the chords with this, you turn it up right here, right? 
that's a 400 now is the only this is getting affected now if I turn it off nothing so so that way you can have if you want to use just one um, instance of a um, let's say an instance of a reverb you'll put a reverb on the return and then every track that you use you can either put a little bit of reverb on it or a lot of reverb on it you understand so let's play this and just put a little bit of reverb I mean a little bit of the filter gate you hear it a little bit all right now I'm this is not being affected yet until I move this up all right so let's move that up let's turn this one down all right so you can't see the effect but let's let's drag the notes out some Now you're going to be able to hear the effect when I do it for the um, the second program. Let's bring our mixer back up. So now let's mute this. Now I'm gonna turn. Now I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, and you're gonna hear it now. Turn it down. You don't hear nothing. Turn this one. Unmute this one. All right. So that's your inserts in a nutshell. Just go ahead and play around with it. You can figure it, the rest of it out. But that's that's what the insert. That's how I use my inserts. Right. That's it, man. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right. Let's go. Let's get it. Turn it up. Go get that loop kit. Let's go.